In this video I'm going to look at the work we've done with fractions so far. So here's a fraction, two thirds. The top part is called the numerator, the bottom part is called the denominator. This is a proper fraction because the numerator is smaller than the denominator. Now this is also a proper fraction, one third. And it's also called a unit fraction because the top number or the numerator is one. So they're both proper fractions, but this is also called a unit fraction because the numerator is one. Now we have five thirds. This is an improper fraction because the numerator is bigger than the denominator. Now we have here a mixed number, two and one third. With a mixed number you have a whole part and a fraction part. So now I have this fraction, four sixths, and I want to simplify it, I want to make it simpler. Now I can see that they're both even numbers and they're both in the two times table. So I can divide the numerator by two and whatever I do to the numerator, I have to do to the denominator. So four divided by two is two and six divided by two is three. So I've simplified four sixths to two thirds. Now I can also say four sixths and two thirds are equivalent fractions. They both have the same value. Now I can also find an equivalent fraction, but this time I can multiply. So I could multiply this by two and whatever I do to the top number, I have to do to the bottom number. Whatever I do to the numerator, I have to do to the denominator. So 4 times 2 is 8. 6 times 2 is 12. So 8 twelfths is equivalent to 4 sixths, which is equivalent to 2 thirds. Now we were also comparing two fractions. So for example, two fifths and four ninths. Now the way we chose to do it, we took this nine up here and multiplied it with the two. And we took this five up here and multiplied it with the four. So now I'm going to do two times nine, which is 18. And 5 times 4, which is 20. Now 20 is bigger than 18. So this fraction here, 4 ninths, is bigger than 2 fifths. So I can write that like this. 4 ninths is bigger than 2 fifths. Or I can say 2 fifths is smaller than 4 ninths. That's one way of comparing fractions. So let me compare 2 thirds with 3 quarters. Now the denominators are different and I need to find the lowest common denominator. What I can do is do the 3 times table and the 4 times table. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, and so on. Now I do the same with the 4 times table. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, and so on. Now if I look at this list and this list, and I circle the common numbers, 12, 12, 24, 24. 
Now I want the lowest common multiple from these two lists. I can see they're both 12. So I need to turn this 3 into a 12 and this 4 into a 12 to find the lowest common denominator. So 3 times 4 will give me 12. Whatever I do to the bottom number, I do to the top number. 4 times 3 gives me 12. Whatever I do to the bottom number, I have to do to the top number. Now let me look at this fraction. 2 times 4 is 8. And 3 times 4 is 12. 3 times 3 is 9. 4 times 3 is 12. Now I can see the denominators are the same. And I now need to compare the numerators. I can see 9 is bigger than 8. So what that means is 2 thirds is less than 3 quarters. And I can use this inequality sign. So 2 thirds is less than 3 quarters. I can read it the other way. 3 quarters is more than 2 thirds. Now we also touched upon this and this causes a lot of confusion. So pay attention to this. We looked at the perimeter. Perimeter is the distance around a shape. That's what I want you to remember for now. And the units or how we measure it is in centimeters, meters, kilometers and so on. Remember perimeter is not measured in centimeter squared or square centimeters. That's one mistake students always make. Now let's look at the area. So area is the amount of surface inside okay remember this inside a shape and I just want to highlight this we measure area or the unit for area is centimeter squared or meter squared or kilometer squared it's measured in square units students always mix these two up so take some time to learn these two please it makes a lot of difference to your maths thank you for watching don't forget to like subscribe and share